One of the really interesting phenomena that's been going on in the last uh, 20 years is what I call computer-mediated transactions. So now, in the middle of almost every transaction from person to person or organization to organization, there's a computer. And the computer can monitor that transaction, record the information, collect the data, and assure that the transaction is carried out the way it was intended to be carried out. So one of the perhaps subtle implications of this is you can now write contracts, make contracts enforceable that simply weren't enforceable before. Suppose you go uh, rent your car and they say, hey, we'll give you $10 off if you don't go over the speed limit. Well, that might sound like a good deal, but what's to keep you from going over the speed limit? Well, the answer is now they've got a transponder in the trunk and the trunk will monitor your behavior and charge you accordingly. And the same thing happens with semi-trucks. Virtually every semi on the road today has a computer in it. And that computer improves the logistics, it monitors the performance of the driver, and it helps things get to the consumer more quickly. So there's lots of capabilities of that sort that allow you to contract on terms that were just not available to you before. You get a new technology in, people are excited about the positive sides of it, then you see there are also some negative aspects and you'll have a regulatory infrastructure that arises to uh, deal with those. I think everybody is very excited about the intended aspects of this technology, the fact that you can personalize, the fact that you can monitor, the fact that you can provide products that are more closely suited to a consumer's interests and needs. What people are worried about are the unintended consequences, the downsides, the negative sides, the security, the identity theft, the possibility of extortion or embarrassment. These are the problems, not what people want to do, but what could happen if these technologies weren't appropriately managed.